Here we go again. Oh, I'm on a roll. But um, today we're going to try out Tres Luces. Tres Luces Beauty from Betty. Betty. Oh, so sad. Becky G. And this one says the I Am palette. So I got these off of BoxyCharm. So I got them at a discount. This palette normally runs $30. And this this little kit is like lashes and a small mini palette. Um, I Am Alma set. So, I'm going to show you the little set first. So, you open it up. It's flimsy little packaging. Get a pair of lashes. So, these are really nice. I really like those. So, they're like dramatic, but not like bang too dramatic, you know. Here's the mini palette. When I mean mini, it is like tiny. But, it does have a mirror. And it's a cute little light pop of color nude kind of palette. <clears throat> so that's $25 for that little kit. And then we have this one, the big palette for $30. I didn't think I paid $30. Do I know how much I paid? No, I can't remember. So we're going to open it up. Plastic. And it's got like pretty thick the front of it. So that's the art on there. Mirror. And then this is the palette. The palette itself is really cute, really nice. On the back it's got Blue Agave from Mexico, Cruelty Free, Latex, Latin X Artist, Vegan, Friendly, Animal, Test Free, 12 Month Shelf Life. So it's got all your info in there. It's got in English and Spanish, which is nice. So here we go. We're going to test it out. Try and open it. So I kind of just, I don't know. I never know until I'm like sitting here and I'm like, maybe I should have thought of something beforehand. More. But I never do. We're just going to be normal. Normal people and just go and do our makeup. On her website, she does have brushes, more palettes. She's got a newer palette that just came out. It's got purple, I think, purple tones in them and new tones. And eyeliners. So, you know, brushes, eyeliner, it's basically just eye stuff right now on their lashes. So, you can check it out if that interests you. I'll leave a link at the bottom, like always. So, let's just go in with a nice, normal, just normal, everyday look. Everyday. <laughs> We're going to begin with Poderosa, which is like this dark navy blue is what it looks like. Uh, or green, I can't tell. We're going to find out, though. Oh, yep, definitely green. Oh, no, blue. Oh, wow, okay. So, blue, blue. I can see it in the camera's tone. I couldn't really see it. And, like, for some reason, I saw green at the beginning. So, just really bringing that out. Like so. Getting it like that bringing it in I'm going to try to get a more precise brush still floofy though just a little more precision so I can bring it through the crease a bit not too far okay so I like that so far I'm going to get some of this black right here fuerte so both it also means powerful but like feminine version because of the A on it so that's what that is um Fuerte means strong, so I like the theme so far. And since, you know, Becky G is a Latinx woman, I'm pretty sure that's why she decided to use the feminine forms of Poderosa. It'd have to be one or the other. She might not have meant it that way because it has to be Poderoso or Poderosa. It's Spanish just Spanish for you okay so cleaning that off I do want to go in with happy it's gonna be on the outer edge oh there is a lot of fallout on that one wow look it's on my lashes and everything oh got a bit of my actual eye look so keep that in mind you'll definitely want to 
um, color swatch these if you're going to be going in from a dark to a light color. Definitely going to want to tap off the excess. But the blending is nice on that. So that's good news. Blending is great. As you can see, we have a good transition going on right there. Next up, let's continue. Let's keep on trying and see what else we can use and test out. So I've got a flat brush. And I believe I want to try to use this light blue right here. Mar, which means ocean. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to do majority of the lid with this one. Just bring it in like that. And then before I go in with any darker shades, I am going to finish it off with Soul Sun, that yellow one. Looks like promising pigmentation. I'm going to tap it on because I did go in with a heavy hand. And like we noticed earlier, there is fallout. And now I'm pressing it in and kind of diffusing it into that other shade. And it's making this pretty green. So I love that. I love how it's doing that. Going in again with Poderosa, that dark navy blue, bringing it in a little further, just into the yellow, like that. And I'm going back in with Happy, yeah, we're going to do Happy again, going in with Happy, and just continuing to follow slightly on top of the dark navy blue we did, the Poderosa shade. So we have that beautiful transition going on. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm getting the sniffles for no reason. Okay. Now on the bottom, I kind of want to do... I'm going to do this red right here, this pretty passion. It's like a reddish orange. It's going to be on the inner corner of the bottom lid yeah definitely red bringing it in and then i'm gonna do the purple diosa which means goddess i believe it's like yes i'm hispanic but like my spanish is second hand from what i learned living with my parents and in the community i grew up in so as many of you know it can vary it can vary widely and then I will finish off with Alma, which means soul. Okay, and I kind of want to diffuse that a little bit more into the yellowish green. Just bringing it up more. Okay, now our next option here is we're going to use Vibrant, this one, in the inner corner. I like it because it's very sparkly. So that's going to be my inner corner highlight today. Oh, that's nice. And then under the brow ball, I'm going to go in with this one, Divina, which means divine. Like this. Definitely can see that. Okay, so I'll be right back. As always, I'm going to do my liner and my eyebrows, and I'll put a lip color on, and then I'll put these on on camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the look without the falsies, okay? So the lipstick is the um, Androgyny Lipstick from Jeffree Star, along with Never Content Supreme Gloss. Obviously, you do not need to use those specific products. You could... Maybelline has a close nude to it. I don't know the specific name. I know I do have it. I just did not grab it today. I can't find it. I know I have it in here. Somewhere. It's in this um, Super Stain Matte family. I know that. 
but it's in one of these tubes, okay? Like, I have so many. <laughs> That's really good if you want to go out and, like, get some food. And they also have glasses to go on top of it that match. So if you want an alternative that's not Jeffree Star, those are good ones. So we're going to put these on. They look very they look very promising. There we go. So I'm going to use my Kiss Lash Liner Glue. Glue liner. Shake, shake. You do kind of got to be careful because this is kind of a thick applicator and if you do like really thin line eyeliner it kind of gets really difficult to get in there without making your eyeliner thicker so I'm gonna go straight in normally I don't trim down my lashes oh these are like stuck on there Ugh, see now I folded it down that's why I hate it when they put too much glue to actually adhere it to the packaging because now I folded my lash now it's stuck to itself. Does anyone have a trick on how to get lashes out of their containers? You see what I mean? Now I fold it up onto itself. So I was trying to get it out. And it folded on me. So hopefully that will straighten out. If not, then you remember to look a little wonky in a second when I place this down. Like I get you guys don't want it to like flop around in there, but that's a bit too much glue in the packaging. I know how to try to fix this edge. Oh my gosh. Well, it's looking like I'm going to have to cut it off anyway. Okay. Normally I don't have to cut my lashes, but this is a time where I do. So let me try to find, and ironically it's that section that I folded up. I don't know if it's irony or just meant to be that it comes off. Okay, so I literally just took the one of the edge pieces off. And now we're going to try it again. I didn't cut off evenly. God dang it. Make sure you try to do your best to cut it evenly like that. You, okay, let me get like that. So it doesn't like poke you or anything in the eye. So we're going to attempt it again. Gonna go down. So, having a bit of difficulty with these. Simply because of the amount of glue that was on there and they fold it and then the fact that they're kind of long. So we're going to try it again. Okay, got it. Okay, they're stuck. Nice. Now to try to get the second one off without folding it. Right, maybe if I pull down. Nope. Nope. Okay. It should not be this hard. Got me some tweezers. Gonna try to grab the edge of that. Get to look at this. So like I did with the other one, I'm going to take off that last section right there. Because I already know they're too long and I want them to be uniform. Cutting that right off. Making sure it's a nice, even flat line that will not poke me at any point. No pokey of the eyes, please. That does not sound comfortable. And there we go. Second lash was a lot easier since I knew what to expect from the first lash. Okay. 
Okay, so I think they're nice. They, they're very lightweight. Lash band isn't too thick or too thin. Not overly dramatic. And they look nice and full. See that? So, I think it's good. I think. Other than the little bit of it having too much glue on them. Look at, look at how sad. I had to lose like that much of the lash. It's got so much glue still left on the end piece that it's able to stick to other surfaces for still. It just makes it hard to come out of the package. That was my only complaint on that. But we are good now. So final review on this, the eyeshadows, as you can see, are very pigmented. So that's a wonderful thing. There is quite a bit of fallout if you are not careful. So definitely go in with a light hand, tap off any excess, any excess product. Um, but yeah, $30, you get three, two, four, six, 18, 18 shades for $30. Not bad. It's a good average price. This one I did not get to use, but it looks like it'd be a nice little quick travel palette that you could take with you to make a nice evening look. I would com think that's more of an evening look than a day look. So you could pro you'd have similar colors as these in that palette. But... I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm glad she's trying to get into makeup and stuff. You know, yeah, there's always plenty of space for makeup. I found a random note, so I wanted to see that. Yeah, I was like, she's trying to a random note. But putting it up, I'm sorry. That was like so random in the video came out of somewhere but either way like i said like i said let me stick it on track beautiful palette beautiful colors i'm probably gonna order the second palette i'm really happy that i found it on boxycharm for like i think a third of the price so it makes it really exciting i get to test out something so nice at a really good deal a good price um i would definitely make a video off of the next palette once it gets here if i order it here soon probably will because of the fact that I haven't ordered any makeup in like two or three weeks which is a long time for me because you know normally I'm like getting packages every every other day so yeah um keep hanging out with me I enjoy this it's my little break away from reality here all the world and working and I hope you guys are having a great time I'm always here if you need to talk if you need a vent if you need a distraction and I'll see you in my next video bye